Well, just like clockwork, it's tax time. But some people who have already filed have been reaching out to News Channel Line saying their refunds aren't like they've been in the past, lower than usual. News Channel Line's Callahan Marshall joining us live from downtown Syracuse tonight. All right, Callahan, what's the deal here? Are we doing anything wrong filing our taxes? So, Jeff, there are a few reasons why you might be seeing a smaller refund, but Kathleen Kaminsky says people should really be looking at the amount of federal income tax being withheld from their paycheck. Alex H. says he's used to getting around $1,000 back after filing his tax return. This year, he owes $500. Amber from Syracuse says she usually sees around $8,000. This year, only 3,000. Kathleen Kaminsky, an accountant with Grossman St. Amour, can explain. In 2021, we had federal stimulus payments that expired. There was an advanced child tax credit that expired, and that child tax credit also was increased by $1,000. That no longer exists. And in the prior year, there was a special additional standard deduction for charitable donations. That too has expired. Kaminsky says to avoid owing money, you should focus on the amount of federal income tax deducted from your paycheck, especially if you're getting back into the workforce. A number of part-time jobs, the withholding on a part-time job oftentimes is less than a withholding on a full-time job. So if a, a taxpayer has three or four part-time jobs during the year, the withholdings at the end of the year are going to be much less than if they had one full-time job. And that's going to result in coming up short when they file their 2023 tax return. Credits that taxpayers should know about. One is a $200 credit for active volunteer firefighters and ambulance workers. The other is the New York State Real Property Tax Relief Credit. So your gross income needs to be $250,000 or less. You have to own a home and pay property taxes, be eligible for STAR credit in 2022, and your real property taxes need to exceed 6% of your income. And that, you could get up to $350. Live in Syracuse, Callahan Marshall, News Channel 9. Tips, Callahan, thank you very much. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind, if you moved in 2022 or you changed your bank account information, make sure you let your tax preparer know about it.